let's work in the middle area so I'm gonna head in and switch some of the images we have in the viewport so you can take a look and switch yours as well now I'm gonna start off with this top area here I'm gonna go into edit mode and I'm gonna take one two three four and press F let me just take this and move it down slightly I'm gonna take these two and press F all the way to about let me just take this four and press F first now let's keep on pressing the F all the way to about all the way to the top maybe I'm gonna add in an extra loop cut in here let me get out of camera view and into full screen so we can see this and do it much better so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bend this in so you can see right here we have this bent in a bit I'm gonna bend this in from about here and then have it fade out to about somewhere here and then to the top is just gonna be flat so if I should show you in the reference image we have you can see what I mean here you can see it bends in until it gets to some point here and then it starts fading out and it gets to here and then completely fade out and then it starts flattening to the top so that's what we're going to try and achieve in this area so I'm going to select the vertices from here all the way to about some point here but before we do that I think we have a bit of an issue in this area so I'm going to dissolve this edge first and then let's fix this area a bit more so I'm just going to slide this here all right now we can go ahead and re-adding that edge loop I'm going to select the vertices from here all the way to about there make sure this is the active element let's go into I mean let's go out of camera view and then let's press alt and s and shrink this in just a bit let's take a look here make sure we're trying to match this one here I'm just going to press alt and s and shrink it in a bit I'm going to take this one and shrink it out just a bit just by sliding things like this I'm going to take this one move it out just a bit like so do the same thing here just ever so slightly very nice now I'm just going to take these four and press F and then take these two and press F once so that should be a nice gradient to the back now let's move to the back here now we shrinked it up to about some point here so I'm just going to press alt and S here and shrink this out just slightly and I'm going to take this one and shrink it out just a little and then this one shrink it out just a little and that should give us that effect if I should enable the subdivision surface modifier you can see we have that effect going on nicely let me fix this area a bit so I'm just going to press alt and s and shrink this out just a bit and you want to flatten this area a bit more so I'm just going to press alt and s and then shrink this out a bit do the same thing here shrink it out a bit take that one and shrink it out just a little bit more let me take these here and shrink them out just a little bit okay I think I like that all right let's disable the subdivision surface modifier let's get back into camera view now let's go into edit mode and see how we can fill this area I think this is going to be matching with this so let's take these four and press F take these two let's see how far we can go by pressing F okay so to about there I'm gonna slide this back a bit and then try to keep things straight or align things a bit straight here okay very nice so that means we're gonna need two extra vertices in here so I'm just gonna press ctrl and R and add in two extra vertices in here I'm gonna take these two and press F to about there Let me just take these two and then move them out slightly. Take this one and then move it out slightly. Let me just move this out a bit more. So now, all I'm going to do is to add in five loop cuts in here. The first one I'm going to do is to add in the first one straight across to beat from this to this. And then we add in the rest. So, what we'll do is to press K on our keyboard to enable the knife tool. And I'm going to move the knife tool to the left side here. And I'm going to left click and I'm going to move my mouse to the right side to about here and then left click and then press space to confirm the cut I'm going to add in three extra loop cuts in here like this 
and then let's align things here first before we add in the final loop cut to the top here. So I'm going to get out of full screen and then let's do this with the rest of the reference image we have in our viewport. I'm going to press Alt and S and then shrink this out just a bit. Now the reference image are not going to be of much help in this area. So we're going to have to do things by guessing. So I'm just going to deselect the outer ones and I'm going to press Alt and S again and then shrink this out. So just so we think it is following that edge or the reference image a bit more. Now we can go back into full screen and then step out of camera view here. Let's take a look here. I'm just going to get into the side view and then let me just select all of the vertices we have here on the left, including these ones down here. And I'm going to press H to hide these. And I'm going to do the same thing back here. So I'm just going to select all of these, excluding these ones. And I'm going to hide those as well. Now let's get into front view and see what we have. So this is the front curve, this one right here, and this is the back one. So I'm going to do our best to try and align things to each of the edges we have on both sides and then uh, make things look much nicer in this area. So I'm going to take these two and press F and let's do the same thing for the rest we have down here, just so we can see things much better while we do this. Let me take these, press F. Let's get to the top view and see what we have. So you can see we have to have that curve kind of go straight like this. Right now it's a little bent in. Let's make sure it goes straight and it comes out here and then goes straight and then comes down here and then moves here. I think this area is already good. It's not too bad. Let me start off with this side. So I'm going to take it from here to there. Let me get to the top view and see what we have. This side is good enough. So I think the problem is in this area. So I'm going to select all of this, press S and then X, and then scale it out a bit, like so. Let's see what that looks like. Not bad. I'm just going to do it a bit more till it looks straight. I'm going to take this and move it out just a bit. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to do it for the next one as well. Let's get to the top view. See how it looks here first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one in just a bit. So with all of these selected, excluding that one, I'm going to move this in just slightly. So a little bit like so. so. Now let's go back to the top view and let's see what we have here. So I'm going to take it from here. So from here all the way to there. And I'm going to press S and an X and then scale this until it looks about straight or nicely flowing to the vertex we have at the back there. Nice. Now we can do the same thing for the next one we have here. So I'm just going to move. Let's exclude this one first. I'm going to move this in just slightly like so. Maybe a little bit out like that. I'm going to take this from here to here. As usual, we're going to try and align this much better, but I think it's it's already close enough, so we shouldn't do too much. All right, very nice. Now let's do the same thing for this side. I'm just going to move it in the x-axis a bit. Just a little inside. I think this should also be a line in the back here. Let me just move it in a little bit more. Let's take a look here. Not bad. Let me take the one here and move it out just slightly. So just a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with this one here as well. I'm just going to move it out just slightly, not so much. I'm going to add in the final one we need in here by pressing Ctrl and R, left click and then right click to keep it in place. I'm just going to press Alt and S to shrink this out a little bit like that. And that should be good. All right, I'm going to take these two and press F all the way down to there. Now let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. Now if you're having this issue here, which looks like the top color is different from the one down here, all we have to do is to recalculate our normals by pressing Shift and an N, and everything should be good. I think I want to fix this area a bit more. So I'm going to take it from here all the way to there. I'm going to press S and an X, and then shrink this in a bit. So if I undo and redo, you can see what I did there. 
I'm going to do the same thing here. So S and an X and then shrink this in just a bit. I'm going to do the same thing here. And finally, I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's enable the subdivision surface and see what we have. Okay, looking good. I'm going to disable that. But I think we have to enable the matcap for each view in our viewport. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Matcap, change it to the brown one. I'm going to do the same thing here. Matcap, change it to the brown one. And then finally here, matcap and change it to the brown one. Nice. Now let's go back into edit mode. And let's take these two and press F. Okay, we have to select these four and press F. Now we'll take these two and press F all the way down. I'm just going to try and even out the spaces between these vertices we have here. So I'm going to take all of these, use the loop tool space function on them, do it all the way down. I want to take these edges we have here and then align it to the one we have on the right. I'm just going to press G twice, press E. I'm going to move this to about some point there like so. And I'm going to take this, slide it up a bit and take that and slide that up a bit. I'm going to take this one as well from here to there, press G twice and then slide it in and then G twice and then slide it out just a bit like so. I'm just going to make sure the spaces between them are even by using the loop tool space function on them. Now let's continue working down here. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, and then press F. And I'm going to take these two and press F once. I'm going to press Ctrl and R, add in a loop cut, and move it all the way to about here. Let me get to the side view. Let me just slide this back a bit to about there. Now we're going to add in eight extra loop cuts in here. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R, and then scroll up until we have eight loop cuts in here, and then left click and then right click to keep it in place. Now let's get to the top view and see what we have. So we're going to have to align this with the edge we have over here before we start filling things in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these edges and then the ones we have below, so all of these, I'm going to press Ctrl and I to hide everything else. I'm going to take this, get to the top view. I want to make sure the spaces from here all the way to the back are even. So I'm going to press G and X and move this out. So this space and this space are even. I'm going to do the same thing here. Gen and X. Make sure the spaces are about even. Do the same thing here. All the way to the back. Okay. Very nice. Now let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. Now we can fill these faces in. Hold on. We need two more in here. Now we can take these two and press F all the way to there. Very nice. Looking good. All right, now let's see how well we can fill this area here. So let me get into camera view and get out of full screen. Now let's get to the side view here. So just like we did with the front, we're going to have to define this curve first. So I'm going to take our mesh and go into edit mode. And I'm going to add in an extra vertex here. Slide it up. And I'm going to move it in the Y axis. I'm going to make sure it is aligned in all of the images we have in our viewport. I'm going to press G and then X. Move this here. Move this back a bit. I'm going to add in one up here. Move it about here. Move it up, move it in a Y, or maybe not. Move it in a Y here instead. And then we should be good. And then I'll just add in two more in here. I'm going to press G and in Y and move this in to about here. Move it down in a Z axis. Move it in a Y, move it in a Z. I'm going to move this in a Y, move it in a Z. And that should be looking good. I'm going to slide this up just a bit. I'm going to slide this to the back a bit 
to about here. And I'm going to move it in the Y to about there, just so we can define that corner a bit more. Let me move it down in the Z a bit. I'm going to make sure the spaces between these three are even by using the loop tools function. Okay, not bad. Let me just slide this a bit. Move it in the Y, loop tools, and then there we go. I'm going to add in one extra loop cut in here to define this curve. I'm going to move it in a Y, like so, and maybe a bit in the X axis, just a little bit like that. Now let's move down here and then fill an edge in this area. So I'm going to take this vertex and take this one, and I'm going to press F. I'm going to add in an extra vertex, slide it down, and then move it down in the Z axis to about here. I'm just going to add in an extra vertex, and then move it in the Z axis, and then in the Y axis, and then again in the Z axis, just to align with that edge. Let's make sure it is aligned in all of the views in our viewport. So now we can start filling some faces in this area here. Let me start by taking 1, 2, 3, 4, and then press F. And let me just slide this down a bit. Take these two, press F, and then press F again. Let me slide this one down a bit. Take these two, press F to about there. And I'm going to keep a triangle in here. And then let's fill this as a quad. I'm going to fill this as a triangle. Fill this as a triangle. I'm pretty sure that's a bad idea, but we'll try and fix it later. The reason for that is we have two edges that are shrinking to one vertex here. And if we should enable the subdivision surface modifier, it will look like a crease in this area. Right now it's not visible because we don't have any faces on the right. So once we have some faces on the right, we can see how we can fix this area without keeping a triangle. All right, let's disable the subdivision surface modifier and keep filling this. So get into camera view here. I'm just going to keep the rest here as a triangle just until we fill the rest of the faces on the right and then we see how we can fix those areas. So all these are just going to stay triangles for now. Let's see what we can do down here. Let me just fill this as a triangle and then take these two and press F to fill in a quad. I'm not liking how this area is looking, but like I said, we'll fix it later once we fill the right side and then start adding in some supporting edge loops.